Hey, Shalom on Israel. First off, I would like to say, call Halal Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me. Also, would like to say peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect, the Akim, that's pushing his word in sincerity and faith throughout the four corners of the earth. For the few sisters that watch and believe, Shalom on to you as well. Uh, just back with another lesson, just going into how Esau Edom pretty much is the ruling power. Uh, that's uh, controlling uh, Great Babylon, Mystery Babylon, or the Virgin Daughter of Babylon, like the Scriptures talks about. That great nation that would be set up for future judgments in the last days, man. And all through the Scriptures, we can link Esau, Edom, which are you so-called white people, to being the rulers of Mystery Babylon, man. That wicked kingdom that was set up to be destroyed. So here it is, all manner of prophecies coming to pass. That clearly highlights who these people are. All through the spirit, the Israelites are pretty much waking up to the fact that they're Israelites, whether they have the 100% truth or not. But at the same time, Esau, Edom, he's being revealed as well. Because that's always been a hidden thing. You know, you got a lot of people and these so-called historians, they want to say Esau, Edom was done away with in the Jewish, in the Jewish Roman Wars. This, that, and the third. They can identify everything and everybody but no one can seem to identify who Esau Edom is today but the scriptures clearly links them to being at the head of the wicked kingdom known as the virgin daughter of Babylon which the most high is about to touch and rightfully so because the scripture says in second Ezra the 15th chapter wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the earth so I mean day for day brothers just share different information with me it's like you think that Esau can't get no worse. This place is waxing worse and worse. And the Most High is going to be completely justified in bringing the destruction of Great Babylon, which is the kingdom that Esau, Edom, you so-called white people, are in power in. But without further ado, I'm going to just read some scriptures. Lord willingness to edify. I'm going to start off here in Psalms 137, and I'll start at 7. It says, Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem. So Esau, Edom, he will have our people, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to forgive and forget everything, all of the abominations and atrocities and the genocide that they've committed against our people. But the Lord, which it tells you also in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, the Most High, he requires that which is past. So I'll read it again, Psalms 137 and 7. It says, remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, which Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Jerusalem represents the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, who said, race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof, man. So Esau, Edom has always been uh, uh, against uh, destroying the nation of Israel, man. It all goes back to that, that battle in the womb, going back to Jacob and Esau in Genesis, the 25th chapter, man. We will be set up to be um, uh, enemies, mortal enemies uh, from the womb. And it never stopped even until this day, man. Even in all of these different captivities, Esau, Edom, he's always, uh, of course, with the confederacy of the other nations, like it tells you in Psalms, the 83rd chapter, always just tried to destroy and keep Israel from being a people. It says, O daughter of Babylon. But here's the point I want to get to link Esau, Edom. To the virgin daughter of Babylon, which is America, man. That great land of confusion that the Most High is set to destroy. It says, uh, Psalms 137 and 8. O daughter of Babylon. So it's a continuation of the, of the seventh verse. Where it's talking about, remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem. So who are the children of Edom? You have to ask yourself. The, 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 these Christians, they love to run away from these prophecies, man. It had, the Edomites would have to be here today. To fulfill prophecy, man. Who are these Edomites? And the scripture says, O daughter of Babylon. So you have to link, you have to connect Esau, Edom to, the, to, to being the daughter of Babylon. It says, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. So the Most High, he's going to destroy great Babylon, and rightfully so, man. It's only a matter of time before these prophecies manifest in the flesh and America, which we know through the spirit of prophecy, is Great Babylon, which is controlled by you Edomites. It's about to be destroyed. It says, happy shall he be 
that rewarded thee as thou hast served us, man. So like the scripture says in Revelation, the 18th chapter, uh, reward her double as she has rewarded thee. So you Edomites are going to drink double of the cup of slavery, all the rape, robbery, murder, and hell that you put on our people. And we can't even uh, tangibly measure double all the hell that they put on us. But we're going to reward, reward thee double as they rewarded us. It says, happy shall he be that taketh the dash of thy little ones against the stone. So we're not going to pity young, old, woman, man, child, anybody from the, the nation of Edom. They're going to be put in complete subjection. They're going to be in complete slavery under the nation of Israel, pursuant to uh, Revelation, the 13th chapter. He that, leadeth, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. But the point being made in this scripture is that you can link Esau Edom to the virgin daughter of Babylon, which is America, because they're in power. They're ruling right now. They fit the prophecy to the T. But I'm going to continue on. I'm going to read another scripture. This is uh, Isaiah 13 and 1. It says, the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. So it says the burden of Babylon. So right now, we're in the time where Babylon, which is America, it's about to face great burdens, man. It's about to be all out hell and chaos. We're in a ramp up mode right now with this whole COVID-19 crisis. And then, of course, all the other prophecies has to come to pass. Esau, Edom making the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast mandatory. You know, famine, sedition among men. Martial law is already in effect. So the burden of Babylon, which is America, it says, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. So Isaiah, the prophet, he saw the same, some of the same things that his father Amos did see. And I'm going to get this real quick because it says, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. This is Amos 9 and 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. And you got to ask yourself, who is the sinful kingdom? What is the sinful kingdom? Which really in this verse is talking about the nation of Israel. Because two-thirds of the nation of Israel, pursuant to the prophecy in Zechariah the 13th chapter, they're even going to have to be destroyed. Because the deeds of the nation of Israel, two-thirds namely, they surpass the deeds of the wicked. So this scripture is really talking about the sinful within the nation of Israel, but we understand that the scriptures are multifold, but it's also can be equated to great Babylon, the virgin daughter of Babylon, which Esau Edom is in power in. It says, Amos 9 and 8, behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. So the most high's eyes which his eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. They're, the Lord is beholding all of the wickedness that's going on in this place. The angels are recording all of the wickedness that's going on in this place. The prophets that the Most High set up to be watchers, we're watching all of the wickedness and the sin that goes on in this place, man. So the Lord is about to destroy Great Babylon, America, from off the face of the earth. And he's only gonna, and he's only gonna save a remnant. The 144,000 and the one-third of the nation of Israel. It says, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. And that shows right there that the nation of Israel, we were scattered among all nations. Just like the prophecy would say. Or just like the prophecy said, rather. It says, like as corn is sifted in the seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. So the Lord is going to have to sift for uh, the, the, the elected of, of the nation of Israel amongst all of these different nations where we've been scattered among. It says, all of the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which shall say, or Salakia, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. So just like I said, the prophecy in uh, Zechariah 13 and 8, it says two thirds of the nation of Israel, they're going to be cut off. So all of the sinners, all of the the, the, the ones among our people who are part of the problem and not part of the solution. The Lord, he's going to use Esau, Edom, the so-called white man to kill you, to put you to death, to, to, to put you to your judgments. It says all of the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. So because you got a house clean first, man. That's why the scripture says that judgment shall begin at the house of the most high, meaning amongst his own people. We got, we got a house clean first. I'm going to continue on. It says, in that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, 
and close up the breaches thereof. And that's what's happening. That's why Esau Edom is losing his mind because the nation of Israel, you know, uh, the, the dry bones pursuant to the prophecy of the Ezekiel, we're being awakened to who we are, man. We're coming back together collectively as a body. It all starts through the first fruit, the elect, you know, which we're, when we go out on the highways and the byways, you know, we're, we're steady. We're constantly building the tabernacle of David because we understand that the, the, the tabernacle is a spiritual tabernacle right now. And Esau Edom is losing his mind, man. We're on the rise as at the same time, he's on his decline. His power is diminishing. And it says, and I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. So we're about to be set up at, back on the throne, the nation of Israel. But here's the main point. In verse 12, it says that they may possess the remnant of Edom and of all the heathen, which are called by my name, said the Lord that doeth this. So Esau, Edom, the chief of all the heathens and the ruler of the virgin daughter of Babylon, they're going to be under subjection under the nation of Israel and the rest of you heathen nations, man. You so-called uh, Japanese, you so-called Chinese, you so-called Africans, you so-called East Indians, you so-called uh, Arabs, all of these different uh, heathen nations. But Esau, Edom, who's at the top of the food chain mainly, they're going to all be in subjection to the nation of Israel. That's the time that we're in. But in order for the nation of Israel to be set back up in power to rule over these nations, Esau Edom has to be destroyed because they're in power right now. Great Babylon has to be destroyed. And we're in that time. I'm going to start over here in Isaiah 13 and 1. It says, the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. It says, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Exhort the voice, exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. So we're lifting up a banner, which is this word, which is this truth, which is our standard of righteousness, we're lifting up the banner upon the high mountain. And mountains represent governments. In America, which is Babylon the Great, this is the highest government on the planet Earth. This is the government that has established a hegemon power structure throughout all these different nations. They have all of these different embassies and military bases throughout all of the different nations on the planet Earth. But the elect, we've been set up to proclaim that banner of the word and going to the gates of the nobles because really our message is chiefly aimed aimed at the elite of Esau Edom. You know these 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 super rich uh, banking families. I'm gonna continue on. It says, "I've commanded my sanctified ones, and sanctified ones are those holy ones that are set apart, those men, the elect that have been cleansed through this word." It says, "It says I have also called." My mighty ones for mine anger, even them that rejoice in my hotness. So many are called, but for your chosen, the elect, you know, we've been called to push this word. And the Lord, and we rejoice in the, in the power of the Lord. I'm going to continue on. It says, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. So right now. We're coming to a time where World War III is being stirred up. You have the, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, the Valley of Jehoshaphat over there in the Middle East, where all of these different nations round about are gathering ultimately to collectively send missiles to destroy Great Babylon, which is America. It says, they come from a far country, from the end of heaven. Even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. So you got to ask yourself, what has the ability to come from a far country from the end of heaven? Those weapons of his indignations are talking about those thermonuclear missiles. Those are going to be the weapons of the Most High's indignation to destroy the whole land of Great Babylon, a.k.a. America. And we're getting closer in that time. And the prophets that have been set up, we're just proclaiming that fact. Whether you like it, believe it or not. It says, how ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. So the elect through the spirit of this word, we're sounding the battle cry, man. We're in a time, it's a spiritual battle mainly right now, but all out war and battle is about to manifest on the earth as we know it, man. All of these different uh, prophecies coming to pass ultimately is going to lead to World War III and the epic destruction of Great Babylon America. 
I'm going to continue on. Or actually, I'm going to get another scripture. This is Jeremiah 50 and 22. It says, a sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. So whether you can see it or not, or not there's a sound of battle being prepared, man. Of course, the, the, the elect men, the watchmen, we're sounding the alarm. It says, a sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. So we're getting closer and closer to the time of great battle that's going to ultimately end in great destruction for America. It says, how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? So America, which we know through the spirit of prophecy is the virgin daughter of Babylon, it's been the hammer of the earth, man. It's been just raping and pillaging the planet Earth, just putting these different nations in subjection, just uh, raping these nations of their natural resources of the land. It says, how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder? And really, it's talking about that military uh, force. But all of these other nations, they're building their military up as well. And everyone has the game changer now or the equalizer, which is the, the thermonuclear missile. So America, they don't they no longer have the edge over all of these other nations. The, 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 the playing field is, is level, so to speak. It says, verse 24, I have laid a snare for thee and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware. Thou art found and also caught because thou hast striven against the Lord. So the Most High set Esau in a trap. They're in a trick bag, so to speak, man. And why? Because they've striven against the Lord. They've cast the ways of the Most High behind them, like it talks about in Psalms, the 50th chapter. This place is in complete rebel mode against every way of the Most High. It says the Lord had opened his armory and had brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of the Lord of for the Lord power of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. So the Most High, he's about to open his armory and he's about to bring forth the weapons of his indignations, with our, which are those thermonuclear missiles, man, that are going to be shot off by all of these different nations, uh, namely uh, Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, all of the uh, allies, the so-called allies within the, the European Union and NATO. America, Great Babylon and the land of Israel is going to be completely destroyed. Because that land over there has to be completely cleansed in order for the rightful people to be placed back in their land by the Heavenly Father. But with all being said, you know, we're in a time of battle. And Esau Edom, which is the so-called white people that rule the land of Great Babylon, they're about to lose their empire in a, in, a, in a horrific fashion. So it's a beautiful time that we in, man. It's beautiful that these Christians... They don't have no ammo. They running out of gas, man. That's why vocab is out here looking bad because they can't deal with the prophecies. The prophecies are undefeated, man. So it's beautiful. You know, the men of the Lord, we've been given this gift. We've been given the eye south to see these things, to proclaim it. So with all being said, hopefully this made sense and edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, one peace and blessings to the hopeful elect.